First Timothy chapter three, verse 13, for those who have served well as deacons obtain for themselves a high standing and great confidence in the faith that is in Christ Jesus. I am writing these things to you, hoping to come to you before long. But in case I am delayed, I write so that you will know how one ought to conduct himself in the household of God, which is the church of the living God and the pillar and the support of the truth. Look at verse 14. How can you know that you are conducting yourself with regard to Christ's bride, how can you know that you are conducting yourself properly? Only through what is written. Only through what is written. And there's something very important in this text. I want you to look at how the church is described, the household of God. If you came into my house and you started commanding my wife and my children when you woke up, this is what you would hear from me. My house, my rules. My house, my rules. And that's what God is saying to us here. My house, not yours, Stuart. My house, my rules. And if you think I'm being a little bit harsh with this, then go on to the next description the church of the living God. Now go back, even in English, and look up the word living and see how many times in the Old Testament it is placed before God. And when God says He's the living God, it is usually because He's speaking in a quite serious manner and is demanding a response that if He does not get, discipline will come to His people and judgment to the nations. When we're sitting around, almost every Tuesday, we have a staff-wide prayer meeting. And the men could testify to the fact that one of the first petitions that always comes out of my mouth is this, Lord, increase our fear of Thee. The more you know God, the more you will fear God, and the more you fear God, God, the more you will study His Word so that you are absolutely sure that you are taking care of His bride in a way that He desires.